In this video, we will demonstrate connection between behavior diagrams and uh, parametric diagram. So let's say we have a block with some value properties. So x real and then we can let's say this will be y this will be z so we have some properties now let's create parametric diagram so we can create parametric diagram using parametric equation wizard right click on the block tools parametric equation wizard here we type the expression or the constraint so x uh, assign uh, sinus z parse and we map, you see constraint is created, it maps to the block properties. Click OK, parametric diagram is created automatically. As you can notice, parametric diagram is inside of the block, so it will evaluate. And parametric diagram evaluates immediately when the inputs changes. So any property change will recalculate parametric diagram. So you don't need to do anything manually, it is just automatic. Now we will use this button to create another para uh, constraint expression, actually. So it will be y equal cosinus z parse and create so as you you saw it will add additional constraints i don't need to create them manually they are automatic here i could could rename them if i want you know this was sinus this was cosinus okay that's it now if i will run this Simulation, I get result. If I will uh, input here something, I get uh, recalculated. You see, like results, Z is changing, X and Y recalculate. As you can see here, on the input change, parametric diagram recalculates automatically. Now, how that uh, works together with the behavior? So they all, all completely independent, only property changes the connection point. So now uh, I will create a behavior and component, create diagram, uh, activity diagram, similar activity diagram. And this behavior is the main behavior of the block because it was first created, but also actually you can see here that this is assigned as classifier behavior. So many behaviors could be owned, but the one which is classifier behavior, the one is the one which will be executed when the block is executed. So uh, this behavior can run other behaviors and then we will execute in the same context and so we'll have the access to the same properties. So now what I will do, I will actually use this opaque action here. And this will allow me to type the code. As you, you might know, this opaque action is actually the only one uh, in, uh, almost the only one in activity diagram which accesses the properties uh, and allows to execute the code here. So body and language uh, is the container for the code which is executed uh, during the simulation. So here we, I will just type uh, uh, z equals z plus null zero one, and then I will just repeat. You know this. Uh, uh, maybe we'll introduce here some delay. Let's say uh, delay by. 50 milliseconds after 50 milliseconds merge merge back here okay so here we have cycle this will go and will update z z as you know is the property in parametric diagram so parametric diagram will recalculate x and y so let's run this one so now if if I will run this just behavior you see here, it will uh, not see the Z property. And it see it complains that Z is not defined, right? But if I will run behavior in the context of that block, you see here block, so I see the properties. And if I will simulate it, you see it runs in the circle and changes the Z and I can monitor the Y property. I can monitor X property. Uh, 
I could also set up simulation config, which will allow me to monitor both at the same time and uh, in the same plot and to also we have this automatic. So let's do this. Let's create simulation, simulation configuration, which will be sin and cos. We'll assign simulation target by drag and dropping execution target. We'll go here, we'll do the silent execution, we'll assign time properties like a zero start time, step size will be 50, step unit milliseconds, and step delay will be 50. And then also we'll create the time series chart, sin and cos, actually the same name, you know, sin cos, and then the same, uh, execution target and then uh, values which will be monitored x and y and will be refresh rate of the 50 milliseconds we don't need fast i will use the same units so i don't need to type here units actually units are not ex accepted in that place and now i will assign this as ui and now I, you see here i can execute this config execute config and i get nice chart demonstrating X and Y change. So now parametric diagram works together with activity.